What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another review for you guys and continuing on in my series of David Fincher reviews in today's video I'll be diving into a special spoiler review with my review of Fight Club. So Fight Club is interesting in the fact I've reviewed this film before already. I reviewed it earlier this year when I was uh, for my 100 movies bucket list. I did a non-spoiler review of that. So if you have not seen Fight Club and you want to hear my thoughts on the film where I don't spoil anything, definitely check the link in the description where you can watch the non-spoiler video. A lot of the things I said in that video, I think still apply in this video because I still really really love the movie but in this video I just kind of want to dive into the nitty-gritty of Fight Club like some of the big reveals some of the big twists and why it helps enhance the overall quality of the film so I'm not gonna really summarize plot in this video or anything else like that because pretty much what I said in my original review of Fight Club still applies in this video here it's just me talking about some extra juicy little details that make me love this movie so much. So without further ado, my spoiler thoughts on Fight Club. So pretty much, I'd say the two biggest things that come to mind on why I love the movie so much, why this movie really works the way that it does. One is the social commentary. The social commentary on this movie really, really fascinates me. Like the whole notion of the fight clubs and why they're hosting these fight clubs. It's these disillusioned men who feel royally screwed by the system and they use these fight clubs as a way to uh, let their anger show and they use their violence as a way to kind of control, kind of feel, you know, the angers that they do have and using their masculinity as a way to uh, get their feelings uh, to let their feelings come out and the controversies this movie has really fascinates me too like people think this is an evil movie there were people that thought this is uh promoting violence and is an increase in violence and stuff like that i read one critic actually thought this was be as bad as like a clockwork orange and I would honestly disagree with that. A Clockwork Orange, I can see where concerned critics could be coming from. That movie was rough to watch. But Fight Club, a lot of the violency stuff in this movie, I felt like it was done in a dark comedy angle. Like, like the way uh, these guys were going around doing crazy stuff. Uh, some of the dark comedy I did find pretty entertaining. Like when they're asked to you know, pick fights with random people in society and intentionally lose. See, I thought that was really funny. And even, like, Edward Norton's character beating himself up, <laughs> framing it on his boss at work, and that's how he gets all the computer stuff and how, like I said, a corporation is now funding Fight Club because the way he blackmails the guy. I just thought that was ridiculously funny. And this is a very entertaining movie throughout does go in some dark places at times like I would say like my least favorite aspect still applicable on my rewatch the whole kind of like on and off toxic relationship with Brad Pitt's Tyler Durden and Helena Bonham Carter's character it does kind of leave a sour taste in my mouth but that's just a side story about how she interacts with Edward Norton's character it is very souring to watch at times and I don't like it as much on the rewatch compared to my original viewing but the social commentary in this movie is very fascinating they, like these guys frustrated with uh, kinda like the consumerism of society the materialism of society they don't like the obsession of you know making all the money in the world to get rich and they believe the only way to function is kinda live like a cult and try to do these anarchic things to claiming they're doing it to help improve society. You can debate all you want on that and stuff like that. And it is quite shocking seeing the final payoff where they succeeded in actually blowing up all those buildings 
But I think the most fascinating thing about Fight Club, as far as the social commentary goes, is it sparks a conversation. It does spark a conversation on how society functions, how the world functions, and the mentality of the Fight Club, which I do think the Fight Club is a crazy cult, personally. I do kind of see where they're coming from about like some of the societal problems and stuff like that, but definitely don't blow up a building to prove a point. That's definitely not the right way to go. It's a crazy movie, and I really dug the approach this movie had, which is crazy because I would say the characters in Fight Club are more unlikable than something like The Game. The Game, the last Venture movie I watched and reviewed, I didn't care for the characters that much. I thought they were weak and hard to root for. I don't really think the characters in Fight Club you want to root for either. But the difference between Fight Club and the game is Fight Club is more interesting structurally and on a narrative level. Just the whole notion of the Fight Club and the social commentary that surrounds that and the overall direction is so dang good. And that's what makes me love the movie is the whole layers and how interesting the characters are that propel me to get into this movie. And then I want to bring up the twist. The big twist of this movie. Get ready for it. Brad Pitt and Edward Norton are the same character. They are one and the same. Yes, that is right. Tyler Durden is actually Edward Norton's character and Brad Pitt is a figment of Edward Norton's imagination. Edward Norton is the Tyler Durden character and he kind of has like this split personality because of that. The insomnia kind of hid him from the truth of what was really going on. Him being the one that founded the Fight Club and burning down his own apartment to help propel him to get to the Fight Club. That was all one character. And I thought that was pretty brilliant. I thought like the unreliable narrator storytelling was a genius move to get us uh, fooled by the overall twist of the movie. And I think it made the whole character dynamic more interesting that the big battle in this movie is not between two bros, it's between your own mental state. And I thought that was a brilliant way of wrapping up Fight Club being a battle of the mind, pretty much, between uh, Edward Norton and his uh, imaginary ego. And I just thought that was just genius. Like I said in my review of, my non-spoiler review, somebody online spoiled the twist for me, so on my first viewing I knew of the twist that Brad Pitt and Edward Norton are one and the same. But it didn't ruin my enjoyment of the film because I was able to pick up some intricate details because of the twist. Uh, mainly in the fact that in some of the opening scenes of the film with Edward Norton interacting with characters and uh, finding out more about his insomnia, you see flashes of Tyler Durden flashing around in the background before you actually are introduced to the character, kind of hinting at what's to come throughout the remainder of the film. That's a clever little detail. I probably wouldn't have noticed had I had not known the twist, but watching this film twice and watching it more and more, I pick up on these clever details. Another clever detail is the fact that when you're watching it, a lot of the times when Edward Norton is interacting with people, you hear Brad Pitt talking behind him, kind of mentally fueling what he's uh, saying. So it's kind of like Brad Pitt being like the you know, the voice in your head type thing when he's interacting. And I just thought that was just some clever little touches and clever foreshadowing that felt like the movie was building up to something crazy and not like this like last minute twist that kind of hurts the movie and stuff. That was an issue I had with the game where I felt like the twist really hurts the movie, but I don't feel that with Fight Club. The twist in Fight Club, much like the twist in Seven, help enhance the movie, I think, to a greater level and makes you appreciate the film all the more. So that does wrap up my spoiler thoughts on Fight Club. I wanted to mainly talk about those two things, more about the social commentary, more about the twist. I do think this is a great film. 
Much like on my original review, I am giving this 5 out of 5 stars and a 94 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. I'm doing my David Fincher director series where I'm reviewing his complete filmography from his directing debut to his most recent film. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can catch up on all the other David Fincher reviews I've done so far. At the time of this video, I've only reviewed Alien 3, 7, and The Game. I have more David Fincher reviews to come. So if you're a David Fincher fan, don't forget to click the link in the description below to catch up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. I'll also leave a link to my non-spoiler review of Fight Club if you want to hear me talk about the movie all the more without diving into the big crazy twist. Join me next time in this director series where I'll be taking a look at his 2002 thriller Panic Room. The only thing I know about this film is it stars Kristen Stewart and Jodie Foster. I am excited to check the film out for myself since I know very little about this film. I think it's another one like The Game where it's considered one of the director's more underrated films. I didn't care for The Game too much, so hopefully I'll get into Panic Room a lot more. Be on the lookout for that review coming very, very soon. But if you've seen Fight Club, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!